Hello kids, my name is Vijeta Virja and I am from Saraswati Group of Education. In the previous session, we completed with the chapter number 3 that is Wing Song. Now today, what we are going to do? We are going to start a new chapter that is chapter number 4, Toto the Monkey who was a strange guest in a family. In this story, there is a little mischievous monkey. Mischievous means naughty monkey. Okay. Whose name is Toto. Who joins a new family. After joining a new family, lot of interesting things happen. As the Toto was very naughty. Right? So, that we are going to see in this story. But before that, let us understand the meanings of all the new words which are given in this chapter. Now, why it is important to understand the meanings of all the new words given in this chapter? Because these words are totally new for you and if you will understand the meanings of all these new words, then it will be very easy for you all to understand the story or a chapter. Okay? So, let us begin the vocabulary words or new words of chapter number 4, Toto the Monkey. So kids, let us understand the meanings of vocabulary words of chapter number 4, Toto the Monkey. Our first word is sparkled. S-P-A-R-K-L-E-D. Sparkled. Sparkled means shown brightly. S-H-O-N-E. Shown is the past tense of the word shine. Okay. So, sparkled means shine very brightly. Okay. Chamakna. For example, the stars are sparkling in the sky. You can see the picture, right? The stars are shining with many small points of light. Okay? So, sparkled means to shine with many small points of light. Now, the next word is pickled. P-I-C-K-L-E-D. Pickled means kept outside to dry. Something which is kept under the sunshine to dry. Kuch bhi dry karne ke liye hum bahar rakte hai, sun ke niche rakte hai, right? That is called pickled. For example, my mother pickled the raw mangoes. Okay? So, my mother kept the raw mangoes outside to dry. Okay? Pickled means something which is kept outside to dry. Now, number three, scooping up. Okay? Scooping up. S-C-O-O-P-I-N-G. Scooping U-P up. Scooping up. Which means to pick up something or like with a spoon. Okay. We heard many times the word scoop. Okay. So, scooping up means to pick up something like with a spoon. Means it is an object like a spoon which is used for picking up an ice cream. Okay. You can see the image. This is the object like spoon. That is called scoop. And it is used to pick up something in a quantity. Kuch bhi quantity mein ek saath pick up karne ke liye use hota hai. That is called scooping up. Okay. For example, John took two scoops of ice cream. Okay. Next word is first. F U W S E D. First. Everyone speak with me. First. First means 
worried without any reason. Worried मतलब परेशान होना without any reason. कुछ भी reason के बिना ऐसे ही परेशान होते हैं that is called first. Okay, for example, the child first when it was time to have a food. Okay, you can see the picture. Right? The child was very worried without any reason. Right? To have a food, it's not a reason to worry. Right? So, first means worried without any reason. Now, the next word is wrenched. W-R-E-N-C-H-E-D. Wrenched. Everyone speak with me. Wrenched. Wrenched means twisted suddenly. Suddenly koi bhi things twist karna or turn karna. Okay? Let us understand with the example. These tools are used to wrench nuts and bolts. Okay? You can see the picture. These tools are called wrenched. Okay, because it is used to open or to tight the nuts and bolts. Okay, so wrenched means to turn something. Okay, everyone, now let us move to the next word that is sociably. S O C I A B L Y. Sociably. Everyone speak with me. Sociably. Sociably means in a friendly way. Okay? Friendly. Sabke saath friendly rehna. Okay? Let me give an example. In a class or in a school, you all are sociable with all the students. Right? आप अपने क्लास में सबके साथ sociably रहते हो, friendly रहते हो, right? Let us understand with one more example. The animals lives sociably in the jungle. In the jungle there are many animals lives together, right? And they lives sociably with each other. They live friendly with each other, okay? So, we can say they live sociably in the jungle. Next word is F-A-M-E, fame. Fame is the word used for well-known person. Koi bhi well-known person ho, koi bhi celebrity ho, unke liye the word fame is used. But here, fame means an animal friendly to humans. Here, fame means क्या होगा? ऐसा animal जो humans के साथ friendly होता है. Right? So, the animals which is friendly with the uh, human is dog. Okay? You can see the example. The dog is fame with humans. The dog are one of the best animal for humans. Right? They are loyal. And sensitive to human emotions, right? They are friendly with humans. Okay? So, fame means to be friendly with humans. Next word is abode. A-B-O-D-E. Abode. Abode means home. H-O-M-E. Home. Home. Abode means ghar or a place for staying. Okay, a place where a person lives or stay for a long time. Okay, for example, George and Stuart live in same abode. Yes, ab jante ho inko? Yes, in the movie Stuart Little, there was a little boy named George whose parents bought a mouse, little mouse whose name is Stuart. Okay. And George and Stuart will slowly and gradually become friends and they both live in the same abode. Odono 
एक साथ एक ही घर में रहते थे राइट सो सेम दे लीव इन द सेम अबोट ओके एवरी वन सो अबोट मीन्स अ प्लेस फॉर स्टेइंग अ प्लेस वेर यू लीव दैट इज कॉल्ड अबोट नाउ द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज Exhibition, e x h i b i t i o n, exhibition, exhibition, which means showing something to people, right? Something, a collection of objects that are shown to the public, that is called exhibition. Public को दिखाना, कुछ भी collection, कुछ भी object, okay? That is called exhibition. Let us understand with the example. There is a painting exhibition of a famous painter in the art gallery. You can see in the picture there are collection of paintings by a famous painter, which is for the public to show. Okay, so exhibition, which means to show something publicly, not only objects, but an occasion when a particular skill is shown koi bhi particular skill hamari hum dikhate hai that is also called exhibition okay let me give one more example we saw an exhibition of folk dancing last night okay so folk dancing is an dance style one of the dance style which is shown publicly Okay, so that is also an exhibition. Okay, everyone. Now the next word is turnstile. The gate from where we enter is called turnstile. Okay, and in many of the places we see turnstiles at airport, at uh, um, theater. Okay, when we go to the theater. We have to enter from the turnstile. Okay, turnstile से अंदर से हमें जाना होता है. Okay, in garden also you can see there was a small round uh, gate that moves round in a circle when it is pushed. हम उसको push करते हैं वो round में घूमता है and allows one person at one time to enter a place ek hi person ko ek hi time pe andar enter hone deta hai right so that is called turnstile okay for example at the airport we enter through turnstile you can see this turnstile okay yahan par ek hi place mein ek hi person ko enter hone deta hai okay that is called turnstile Now the next word is annoyance. A double n o y a n c e. Annoyance. Everyone speak with me. Annoyance. Annoyance means a state of being angry. Okay. Annoyance means not gussa hona but naraz hona. Okay. Or we can say chid jana. Let us understand with the example. the fight let us understand with the example the fight between these cousins have become annoyance for their parents okay you can see the picture the cousin sisters are fighting with each other and their parents are annoyance naraz hai unse right as they are fighting with each other ओके सो एनोएंस मींस नाराज होना नाउ द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज क्वाड्रब्ड एवरीवन स्पीक विथ मी क्वाड्रब्ड क्यू यू ए डी आर यू पी ई डी क्वाड्रब्ड सो क्वाड्रब्ड मींस एनीवन और एनीथिंग विद फोर लेग्स एनीवन विद फोर लेग्स हु हैव फोर फीट इज कॉल्ड क्वाड्रब्ड ओके For example, elephant, lion, cow, giraffe, panda, tiger, sheep. This all are quadruped. Okay, this all are with four legs. Now the next word is f a r e fair. 
फेयर मीन्स चार्ज और मनी फॉर ट्रेवलिंग ओके वेन वी ट्रेवल बाय बस बाय ट्रेन बाय टैक्सी और बाय एरोप्लेन वी नीड टू पे सम मनी वी नीड टू पे सम चार्ज दैट इज कॉल्ड फेयर ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी मस्ट हैव टू पे फेयर फॉर ट्रेवलिंग राइट वी मस्ट हैव टू टेक अ टिकट वी मस्ट हैव टू पे अ फेयर फॉर ट्रेवलिंग Now the next word is haunches. Everyone speak with me. Haunches. H a u n c h e s. Haunches means the back of one's thighs. Okay. Thighs का जो back part होता है that is called haunches. Okay. For example, the mother gave a slap across her haunches. Yes, mother gave a slap across. बैक ऑफ हर वन थाइस ओके उसके बैक साइड के जो थाइस थे वहां पर मदर गेव स्लैप एंड दैट पार्ट इज कॉल्ड हॉन्चिस ओके नाउ द नेक्स्ट वर्ड इज रिफ्यूज आर ई एफ यू एस ई रिफ्यूज मीन्स टू से नो ओके इनकार करना लेट एस सी द एग्जाम्पल The boy refused to eat broccoli. Right? Boy ne broccoli khane se mana kar diya. The boy didn't like the broccoli, so he refused to eat. Okay? Now the next word is curious. C U R I O U S. Curious means eager to know something. कुछ भी जानने के लिए उत्सुक होना ओके लेट अस सी द एग्जाम्पल द चिल्ड्रन आर क्यूरियस टू नो अबाउट डॉल्फिन यू कैन सी द पिक्चर द चिल्ड्रन आर वेरी क्यूरियस टू नो अबाउट डॉल्फिन ओके सो वी कैन से क्यूरियस मीन्स वॉन्टेड और एक्साइटेड टू नो और लर्न समथिंग ओके Now the next word is prodded. P R O D D E D. Everyone speak with me. Prodded. Prodded means to push or press something with your finger. Push karna ya to press karna with your finger. Okay. So that is called prodded. Koi bhi cheese ko push karna ya to press karna. With your finger, that is called prodded. For example, he prodded the tortoise. Okay. So these all are the vocabulary words of chapter number four. Let us revise all the words once again. Okay. First word, sparkled. Sparkled means to shine very brightly. Next word is pickled. Pickled means something which is kept outside to dry okay next word is scooping up scooping up means an object like a spoon which is used to pick up something okay next word is first first means to be worried about small things or worried without any reason Okay. Next word is wrenched. Wrenched means twisted suddenly or to turn something. Okay. Next word is sociably. Sociably means to live friendly with everyone. Now, next word is fame. Fame means an animal which is friendly to humans. Next word is abode. Abode means the place where you live is called abode. Next is exhibition. Exhibition means a collection of objects that are shown to the public. कुछ भी things publicly हम show करते हैं that is called exhibition. Next is turnstile. Turnstile is the entrance gate. when it is pushed and it allows one person at a time to enter a place 
Okay, so that is called turnstile. Next word is annoyance. Annoyance means a state of being angry. Okay, naraz hona or we can say chid jana. Okay, next word is quadrupt. Quadrupt means any creature with four feet that is called quadrupt. Now the next word is fair. Fair means charge or money for traveling. Haunches. Haunches means back part of the thighs. Okay, that is called haunches. Next is refuse. Refuse means to say no. Curious. Curious means excited to know something. That is called curious. Okay. Next word is prodded. Prodded means to press something with the finger. That is called prodded. So, this all are the vocabulary words of chapter number 4, Toto the monkey. Now, you need to understand the meanings of all these words and learn the spellings of all these words. Okay, everyone. So, kids, to practice these words, I have given worksheets with this video lecture. In this worksheet, you will find two questions. In question number A, match the following are given. Okay. In this, there are two columns. In column A, all the new words are given. And in column B, all the meanings of the words are given. Okay? But they are in jumbled form. So, below that, I have given one more table. In that table, in column A, all the new words are written. And in the column B is blank. Okay? So, from the above table, you need to find the correct meaning of the given word and write before it. Okay. Now below that there is question number B is given that is missing letters. Okay. So fill the blanks and complete the words. Okay everyone.